Hi, my name is Charlotte and I am obsessed with oversized blazers. So I'm bringing to you ways to wear an oversized blazer, how you can style yours, but if you're looking for some recommendations, the two that will feature in this video are my absolute favorites. This is how I've been wearing a oversized blazer on repeat at the moment. I love pairing it with some casual, relaxed trousers, going for an off-duty suit vibe, dressing it down by pairing it with some trainers. I have some new Nike dunks in Harvest Moon that match perfectly with my Chloe Tess handbag. So there's a little tip to make an outfit look instantly pulled together. Try and match the colour of your shoes to your handbag accessory. You could even do a jumper or a roll neck in the colder months and it's just so effortless, cool girl, chic, really comfortable but you look like you've made an effort even though it's taken two seconds to throw on. When I go out for dinner or drinks, I don't like to be too dressed up. I love a jeans situation. And I also love a bralette. I think they look great paired with an oversized blazer because the oversized blazer is so big and billowing that you only get flashes and glimpses of your bralette. Instead of matching my shoes to my handbag this time, I've gone for some sandwich dressing. Simply that means we sandwich one colour in between two others. Think of it like a slice of bread. So my filling today is my white jeans and my top piece of bread is my brown blazer and my bottom piece of bread is my brown shoes. So then I've decided to tie in the white with a white handbag and my accessory. Here on my channel, I love neutral colours. I love following sort of the three colour rule of not wearing more than three colours together. I think they're simple, easy ways to look effortless and chic all the time. So if you find them helpful, I would love if you clicked subscribe and saw more of my videos. Leather trousers are a staple in everybody's wardrobe. Dressed up, dressed down, on the office for evening out. They're so versatile and I've just paired them with another basic I think everybody underestimates, the white t-shirt my black Frankie Shop B blazer, and then I'm bringing the monochrome into the accessories with my checkerboard shoes from Flattered, and then this beautiful Strathbury cream and white mix handbag. Now, if you're ever stuck for what to wear and you're not sure what colors to go for, or you can't really be bothered to get dressed, but you want to look put together, always pull a monochrome look together because it's effortlessly chic, and I think it looks great for workwear as well. It's got a little bit of boss lady vibes, and it's just a good fail safe when you don't know what to wear. I know that oversized is not everybody's bag, but I'm sure if you're watching this video, it possibly is, and I think you really cannot underestimate the power of a nice relaxed suit and simply just wearing them together because obviously it's oversized, it's quite masculine. So if you can add some feminine touches, whether that's a red lip, your jewellery, or a dainty pair of heels like I have my Manolas on here, I think it makes it so relaxed and effortless for an evening out. I feel these type of outfits get a little bit more attention as well rather than, you know, the full-on super glam look. You're also comfortable all night, which is a massive bonus, but I've just paired it with my little Prada handbag. Again, a little bit of a dainty detail to the look. I rolled up the sleeves, helps to make the body look a little bit more elongated and like you're not just completely being swamped by your oversized suit. But love, love this as well. I just thought I would show you again a way that you could wear a suit pairing together a little bit more dressy rather than with trainers for the daytime. If you want to add a little bit of interest to a simple tank top, blazer and jeans outfit, have a go with layering a shirt underneath. So here I've just popped a white oversized shirt on, I've left it unbuttoned, I've rolled up the sleeves of my blazer, I've had the cuffs of the shirt just peeping through. This will instantly lift an outfit. I think layering makes looks so expensive and just a little bit different to what everybody else is wearing. I pop them on with some pump trainers which are great for spring and summer and also great for running errands or chasing around after an 11 month old. You can also belt an oversized blazer to completely change the silhouette and the versatility of wearing one in your wardrobe. Also another essential for me is a comfortable knitted dress for spring because if again you don't know what to wear but you want to be comfy and chic, throw on a knitted dress and this also looks great without the waist belt but I just wanted to show you guys a way that you can switch up the styling of this blazer. To balance out the proportions I have popped on some chunky boots because obviously we have the big oversized blazer up at the top. We brought it in at the waist and then I just wanted to obviously add a little bit of weight at the bottom of the outfit as well. You can lift an all black look by popping over a sweater as a scarf. 
in a contrasting colour. It's also a great way to carry around an extra spring layer with you. I have on my absolute favourite Zara dress from last year. I love wearing a slip dress for daytime, dressing it down, it's also great for evening. I have my Loewe basket bag that's adding a lighter neutral element and then to tie in with the brown I popped on some brown flip flops. So again, sticking to that three colour rule, sticking with neutrals, um, things that I just obviously love to style and wear in my wardrobe because I like to get lots of wear of the things that I already own. A way to make your winter chunky boots work harder is to pair them with a pair of shorts or a mini skirt because obviously they're the trend right now, simple t-shirt and then chuck your oversized blazer on the top. I've kept the base all black because this is another styling tip I like to use to just look put together is keep everything one colour on the base of your outfit and your accessories and then choose a layer or a jacket, a blazer, some outerwear that's a different colour just to contrast but then you look really put together and expensive as well and if I was going out I would just swap the chunky boots for a heeled knee high boot with this look as well so we're still balancing out uh, the oversize on the top with your footwear. I could talk for days until the cows come home about oversized blazers. So if you would like to see a part two for styling oversized blazers, or there's another wardrobe staple that you would like me to see one different ways and to go through my tips on styling and how I wear them with you, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys very soon.